Welcome to Cumberland Falls Resort. State Resort. State Park. Resort. Yeah, yeah, it's got a really long we name. We keep getting confused. Right. We've not been here before. We are camping for the week, actually. We got our, got yeah, our whole, nights. whole families here. Right. No, well, not the whole family, but right. our daughter and her family. Our, yes. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, there's a beautiful falls. This area is gorgeous. So we thought, hey, it's our first time here. Maybe somebody else hasn't been here. So let's show you guys. Let's take a walk down here and um, take a look at the falls. the parking lot is a walkway that goes down to the falls right along the Cumberland River. It's very accessible. It's very nice. Um, Nancy's already sprinted ahead of me, but um, as you can see, you can come down the walkway and they've got visitor center and all that. We're going to go down and take a look at Let's it. see. Gift shop or visitor center? Where would I find Nancy? <laughs> this is a hard decision to make. I got our sticker and look. They have white or they have black, but the black will show up better on our camper. I'm pretty excited about that. And then my tag for my walking stick because I did walk down the steps to the falls. Okay, a crazy thing happened. We're down here at Cumberland Falls and I ran into a guy that uh, worked in the packaging industry like I did and uh, actually did a quite a similar job. So. <laughs> I lost my whole family. I started talking to this guy. You don't very run into very many people that uh, are in this line of work. So it was interesting to run into him. I know we know a lot of the same people. So anyway, I've lost everybody. I'm going to try to catch up with everybody again and rejoin you on the video in a second. But hang on a second. Well, I just called him on the phone and apparently everybody's in the gift shop. I should have known. I should have known. What in the world was I thinking? So, all right, I'm going to hoof it back up, back to the gift shop where we were before, and see if I can find the rest of the crew. So hang on a second. Okay, I found Abby in the gift shop. What did you have? Um, gemstones. She is going to try her hand at panning for gemstones. Yeah. So, all right, we're, they've got a sloot down here. We're going to go down here and take a look and see. Okay, here we are. I found two miners here at Cumberland Falls, and uh, they're with the Cumberland Falls Mining Company, and they have great expectations. What do you think is going to be contained in these bags? Gemstones. How, how rich do you anticipate you're going to be? Um, I don't know. You don't know? Yeah. You, as a miner, you have to be optimistic and think about what you could possibly. So, do you think like? Maybe a million dollars? Maybe. Maybe a million. Right. Right. What do you think, Abby? All right, Abby. Well, maybe a million dollars with gold, but we get gold. A million dollars with gold. Already got this. So I'm, oh, wow, you, got you found that nugget already? <laughs> that is amazing. So I'm anticipating that the, the catch for the day is going to come in somewhere between a nickel, maybe five cents, and a million dollars. Yeah. Somewhere between somewhere there. Between so. there. Yeah. All right, let's get down there and See what the results Here we are. Go. Here we go. Are you ready, Lash? Oh, you're ready, Lash. Oh, I oh, already see some. Did you already see some? Yeah. You think there's I like think high dollar? Oh, don't let that fall. Oh. I do love. You want to shake it? What you got, Eli? Put it in the water. Oh. Nice. Oh, look at this, Eli. Look at this. Oh, that's a big one. I found it. I found it. The ones in my ankle pants are so little. Where's your Ziploc bag, Abby? Right here. I found another here, one. I found another here. one. I gotta make it. Oh, wash. Oh, oh. I didn't want to put them in there. I found a pistol. Well, this one doesn't work.
results are in. How did you do? Um, I don't really know. Well, tell me what you think you found. Um, I found a lot of fool's gold. <laughs> Show the people what you think. Um, so that's... So she's got a whole bag full of gems. Out of 10 pounds, that's what she's come up with. So, what's your favorite out of that? Um, my favorite is down under here. Just tell us what it is. Yeah, it's that one right there. Oh, the green one. Okay. All right, Eli, it's your turn. Um, what, what did the Eli Mining Company come up with? Um, I had like a lot of like um, full school. I think it was like more than 10. Yeah? Yeah. Show them full school. Right here, here. You can just show them in the bag. Right there, see that? There you go. What's your favorite out of the bag? Um, I have a lot of them, but. I'm just gonna. You can have the rest. Show. Oh, that's pretty. I have one like that, like it. All right, there you've seen it on the Hanging with Herky channel, the Abbey and Eli Mining Company, and they've got their bag of gems, and now they're they're wealthy. Like I like we predicted, it came in somewhere between a nickel and a million dollars. So, all right, <laughs> there's a lot of fun activity. We're gonna head down. Call this the Niagara Falls of the South. Mm -hmm. um, I think though, if you went over this, you would survive. Maybe, Don't but it's, it's, it's pretty rough. Yeah, yeah. it's roaring. So um, we're gonna walk on around because we're at the like the top of it, but we're gonna walk around so you can see as it comes over. This it's was a powerful. really good stop. It's pretty good. Yeah. The kids are having a good time, so. I think it was worth it. So. Yeah, oh yeah, most definitely. Five hour drive, and we get to stop at a Bucky. So, you know, it's all worth that. Take a look at these falls. assisted by my second cameraman here Joel my grandson look at this kid he's bigger than I am <laughs> how old are you Joel 14 14, 14 and he's bigger than me yep. so anyway he's been doing some camera work for me getting some of those shots that you gotta climb down to <laughs> at, uh... all right here we go and in here with the whole clan at the overlook what do you think Eli good 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 can you say something other than good? No. Party cold. <laughs> so, yeah, we're here with the kids. We're having a great time. And my daughter is back here someplace. Hiding. There, there she is. <laughs> so when you take Martha along with us, it's like having your own naturalist because <laughs> she's a high school biology teacher. So uh, the kids, like I appreciate it, but the kids <laughs> don't really appreciate it too much. So. Uh, there's a lot of pressure to become make good grades in biology <laughs> and my son-in-law is with us too we only take him around to do the driving and to barbecue so <laughs> very true all right here's what's going on the kids have talked me into going down these stairs all the way to the bottom so i'm gonna do my best they're counting the stairs as we go <laughs> and you know i'm following all the safety rules here as i use the camera three-point connection my hand and my two feet so uh, gotta be careful when you're videoing and walking so all right take a look at this kids talk me into going down here but they are much faster than me so they're already they're already practically down there I'll get down there in time for them to want to come back up, but I think we're going to get some good views, hopefully of the falls when we get down there. As you descend down here, so up above there, it's a little bit warmer. 
and as you descend down it gets cooler so you can tell we're getting near the water oh wow take a look at this see they got a look at these rocks how cool is that all right i better get i better keep walking here so i can get down here with the kids all right i made it down to the beach um there's some people are loading up a boat i think they're gonna row up to the falls there and go fishing but man this is this is definitely worth the walk down here doing uh but uh, you can't see the falls from where we are but you can see the rock formations it's pretty neat let me turn the camera around and you take a look at it Think, Ab? Um, it's really cool. Are you out of breath? <laughs> yeah. Um, we got a bunch of the coal. She thinks the, we think these are coal. We're not sure. They're really light. We were skipping some over there. Are you gonna stay here and take a breath for a little while? It's really pretty. Go slowly. Do you want me to go with you? Nope. All the way back. Look for bears too. Snakes. Oh, you can go all the way down there. Yeah, right here. Yeah, gotta get my Ow. phone, get my flashlight. And slowly, Abby. Okay. Otherwise, you get everybody's seasickness. Oh my He's word! He's trying to get his flashlight. Dad, grab Dad's. Oh, I got Abby's one. My phone's loud. Thanks. A real outdoorsman would have had a flashlight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Joe Hassler would have had a flashlight. Bear Grylls would have one. Bear Grylls would have had a flashlight. I don't have any room with all these rocks in here, so. Look at his back. <laughs> hey, take your backpack yeah. off. <laughs> yeah, this a bunny flashlight is terrible. It's like Mickey Mouse. Mom. How far does it yeah, go, buddy? Pretty far. Probably climb the It's a lot easier going down, huh? Yeah. This is a good camp. I'm not going down there. I'm not, I'm not going down there. This is a good campsite. Don't get stuck. Did you hear the kid? All right, for a little bit of cooling off and relaxing, we made our way up to the DuPont Lodge here. And uh, I was really interested in coming up here and seeing this because uh, I was told it was built by the CCC. And those that follow the channel know that uh, anytime I'm any near anywhere where there's a CCC structure, I, I want to see it. So uh, actually, I went in, did some reading, and this was built in I think '32, but uh, by 1940 it had been destroyed by fire. So the structure you see right now, the foundations, and some of the stonework is the original stonework from when the CCC built it, but. It has been rebuilt in 1940 since then because of the uh, because of the fire. Um, still beautiful, still an awesome thing to look at, but uh, I was a little disappointed it's no longer a, a true CCC structure. But um, so you can go inside the lodge. We're going to go in there in a minute, but I want to show you the view from the lodge, and you can look down on the Cumberland River. It's really cool. So you can see there. There's the Cumberland River, and down below is those falls that. Uh, we were at earlier today. This is really a great area of the country. If you have a chance to come down here and see this, uh, there's nothing like it. It's very beautiful. And I've been a lot of places and I really enjoy coming down here. If you remember about a month ago or so, we were down at the Big South Fork. That's probably about 45 miles or so from, from where we're at today. But, um, yeah it's really cool you can look out through here you can see some pine trees some hemlock trees a lot of oak trees very cool behind me here let me swing the camera around is the lodge structure so in addition to the campground if you don't want to stay in the campground you could stay here at the lodge let's go inside and take a look and see i mean 
even though it was rebuilt in the 40s it's still it's still very charming let's take a look inside Okay, so we came into town to Corbin and we are at the very first Kentucky Fried Chicken and they have like a museum. So we're gonna take you around and show you. Hello, everybody get one. Hang on, hang on. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. No, no, no. Get up there. Get in there, guys. Well, you can do a selfie So here at the Sanders Museum, they've got a replica of the hotel room that was there. They had to, um, he had it situated in such a way that uh, the women, when they stopped to use the restroom, had to walk through a hotel room so they could see how clean it was. <laughs> so he knew if they liked that room that they would uh, go ahead and rent one. So it's uh, pretty neat. Oh, there's Nancy behind me. So they've redone this because now you, before you would eat in a certain place and then go through the, the museum and now the eating takes place throughout all of the museum. So in the kitchen, I have found it. There's a bucket of the Colonel Sanders basic formula. Look here. So there's a hundred pounds bucket, <laughs> but there's no ingredients on the sticker. So it still remains a secret. On this wall is a bunch of spices and the 11 secret ones are in here you just don't know which ones they are So here I am just hanging out with the Colonel a little bit. I'm going to sit here and talk to him a little bit. I have been to Kentucky Fried Chickens all over the world now. It's a pretty international brand. In fact, I would say it's even more popular in the United States uh, and overseas than in the United States. But um, oh, Nancy and Abby are joining me. So yeah, this is a pretty cool stop uh, as you head down 65 through Kentucky. Um, it's free, there's no obligation to buy anything. There is a Kentucky Fried Chicken restaurant here, but it's not, not an obligation to buy anything. Come and look at it. Now we're gonna go outside because there's some stuff I wanna show you outside because back in the day, Colonel Sanders had a gas station, a motel here, and uh, his famous restaurant. So let's go outside and look around. Okay, so that was the inside of the museum. We're going to go up here and take a look at the gas pumps on the outside. Uh, go back in the videos, like, we got over 300 videos on our channel, but if you go back, 
somewhere we've got another video where we've been here before. Uh, we wanted to take the kids here this time though, so let's go take a look at the gas pumps. They've done some changes, so I'm glad we stopped. The kids got a magnet, they got socks. We didn't eat, but we got to see the new and improved museum.